Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm the founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital die cutting community where you guys get access to a thousand die cutting cut files and more, as well as over uh, close to 200 amazing fonts with new ones coming out every single month. If you guys are not already a member, be sure to check out the first link down below so you can grab your membership. But in today's video, we are sharing with you guys some of our foil quill hacks you probably didn't know. Now, if you have not seen a foil quill, be sure to check out our unboxing video. It is an amazing accessory that you're able to use with your die cutting machine of your choice. It's really awesome and it works with heat reactive foil. So there's adhesive based um, foil and then there's heat reactive foil that actually sets it. So kind of like heat transfer vinyl, you're able to, you know, use this as your heating source and truly transfer the amazing foil onto the design. So it works great in all of your electronic die cutting machines. There's different adapters for the Cricut, for the Silhouette, as well as the um, Eclipse 2 from Sizzix and the Brothers Scan and Cut. So it works with all of them. They have different adapters in here and you'll have a link to this in the description below. Um, they've been out of stock, but I think We Are Memory Keepers is finally getting a new shipment or two in, which is really awesome. So we're gonna share with you guys some hacks you probably didn't know today. So I hope you guys are excited. And if you are, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and trick videos, as well as tutorials using your die cutting machine. One thing you definitely need to make sure you're doing is taping your foil down and making sure it's as smooth as possible. I've seen a lot of people have craft fails with their foil when they are not making it be as smooth and tight as possible. You want to make sure to use the tape, the little washi tape that is included. And yes, this is pretty much just washi tape. So if you run out, just grab some washi tape in your stash and use it and make sure your foil is as smooth and tight as possible to your material. That is the number one way to make sure you have great results using the foil quill, because if it's wrinkly and if it's not tight, you're not going to get an amazing result. So again, make sure to give yourself some wiggle room when having the tape, make sure it's not in the area where you're actually trying to foil and cut. That is a huge thing. I would rather put too much foil down and have a little excess than try to be stingy and put the tape right where it starts and it end up messing up your whole design. So that's another tip, you know, give some extra wiggle room with the tape and to make sure it's nice and tight and smooth. Be sure to not let your foil touch your bare mat. Make sure there's cardstock or whatever material you're foiling on top of be um, covering your foil at all times. You want to make sure you still get the best lifespan out of your die cutting machine's mat. So be sure not to let that foil touch your bare mat as it could, you know, ruin your mat a little bit quicker and make it way less sticky. So again, just don't allow your foil right here to touch the bare mat. Um, because it could cause some issues with the mat and we want to make sure we get the best lifespan out of our mat as possible. So just make sure to cover that with cardstock or whatever material you are deciding to foil with. So there's a lot of controversy about this next topic and it's if you want to use the power source built in on the Cricut Maker. Now spoiler alert, we have actually used the built in power source that the Cricut Maker provides. But if you guys are worried about voiding your warranty or anything like that, first of all, those warranties are only for a year after purchasing your machine. Second of all, feel free to use an alternative power solution. You guys have seen those rechargeable battery packs, those little power banks that everyone has from Amazon to charge their phones um, on a road trip or when they're hiking and things like that. But also feel free to use a lightweight extension cord in your craft space to bring it closer to your machines. Um, you do wanna be careful and it needs to be pretty close. I think you know it can only be a few feet away due to the cords right here. As you can see, it does not give you a lot of room to move around, especially when this is moving back and forth. So you want to be very careful to have a power bank close by or an extension cord um, if you are not wanting to use the built-in um, 
plug on your maker or you may have a silhouette and it just doesn't have that solution. Also feel free to use maybe the USB adapter off of your computer. Um, I think that should work as well too um, and it's really awesome. What's really awesome about our foil quill is we've been seeing so many people use this on so many different types of material. Now you can use this on anything smooth. You think about all of your cardstock. Think about using this on vinyl. Think about using this on leather. I mean, all of this is amazing. You could use this on vellum. There's so many amazing things to use your foil quill on that is going to be awesome for you guys. So think of all of those smooth surfaces. Think about adding some detail to those leather earrings. Think about making your wedding invitations using your foil quill um, on the vellum in addition to the cardstock or anything like that. I cannot wait to see us stretch the limits of the foil quill pen. So stay tuned for other videos sharing with you guys exactly how to use it on vinyl or leather or things like that is because it is truly awesome to use the foil quill pen on any smooth surface. Another amazing hack about our foil quill is that you can use any heat reactive foil. So a majority of foils on the market right now are adhesive um, set foils, but you want to make sure you're using heat reactive foil. That is what this here is, is heat reactive foil, and it can work with any heat reactive foil that is on the marketplace. There's some really awesome ones. So if you can't find the colors you want from We Are Memory Keepers, I'm sure they're expanding their line with all of the success of this product. But you can also, you know, look around and find any heat reactive foil. And as long as it's around the same, you know, heat temperatures as our foil quill gets, you're going to have amazing results with that as well. But I'm sure We Are Memory Keepers would love for you to still use their foil that they have made specifically for the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill tool um, just because they have done all the testing and made sure it's perfect. And I do have to say in this particular box that we got that is like their highest end you know, package, they have a lot of foil included. There's three different colors in here and it includes all kinds of, um, I believe these are six foot rolls of um, or no, six inch rolls of three different heat activated foils in gold, silver, and rose gold. So I love that. And this is going to allow you to make a lot of different foil quill projects and really test it out before even needing to purchase any other foil. So if you guys are excited about the foil quill pen, be sure to leave us a comment and let us know, do you have one? Did you find out any fun tips and tricks about this? We cannot wait to share with you guys even more fun tutorials incorporating our foil quill pen. We are right now working on an amazing die cutting collection of files to work exclusively with the foil quill pen. It's in the hands of our artists working very diligently to bring some ideas to life. So if you are not already a member to makersgonnalearn.com, be sure to click that first link down below. Grab your membership today if you love your foil quill pen. Until that collection launches, you can play with over a thousand different cut files and over well over a hundred, close to 200 amazing fonts. If you're a year member, you get a free commercial license and you can join our member only Facebook group to be part of the community. So if you guys are super excited, I hope you all give us a thumbs up. I love the foil quill pen and we'll see you guys back here in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.